Now, I'm using some Sizzix Rich Creamy Acrylics. Absolutely gorgeous, these. Do we need to get in a bit closer, Lou? Are we, can you see me all well, right? I can, can I can see there you, we, but that's, oh, yeah. look at those. How about that? Perfect. Ooh, extreme closer. Big shout out to Kieran on the camera today. Go-to guy for this kind of thing. He's brilliant. There Thank you, you Kieran. Yay. Send him some love. <laughs> so I'm mixing these two together. I'm blending it with my brayer. And you see, I'm lifting and rolling so I get a nice blend there. And I'm taking, I'm just taking this background. Am I running across there? Now, I'm going for an imperfect look. Okay. I, I could, of course, get a perfectly flat background going on here. But I want that imperfection. I embrace the imperfection. Yes. I know Tim's a big fan of that kind of vibe so there you go we've got that going on what i can do as well i can take let's let's take a little bit more of the lighter of the two colors here so a little bit goes a long out. way doesn't it very much so and, and it's like i always say with things like this you know less is more if you need to add more you can always add but you can't always take away so i'm going to take a stamp and i'm going to put that into the acrylic and I'm going to bring it down the side here as well. So nothing fancy there. We're, we're, just, we're just getting a bit messy. Let's take some of the red and we'll go on the other side there. Get that in. And I'll take a palette knife this time because I want to bring in this. I love this color. It's called Mango Tango. Mango Tango. Love and that. Mango Tango, indeed. And it is that gorgeous, rich, ripe mango color. But just a tiny blob. The great thing about these is they're quite flexible. So believe it or not, this this that I'm creating now, I could emboss this later. I could get one of my 3D embossing folders oh, nice. and I could get an emboss going on. And there we are. We just created a little background there. And I'm going to put that to one side to dry. Now, I've had a question and... about that cardstock, Pete, if that's okay. Sure. Um, of course. Becky Holiday has asked, uh, is that white cardstock that you're using also suitable cardstock for card bases as well? Or is it more just for your mixed media? Absolutely, yeah. It's it's your standard three hundred gram uh, white cardstock. It's a smooth cardstock, but you know you can go with watercolor card if you want to get a slight texture in there. It's entirely up to you. Um, but let me show you. Let me show you some other things I've done with different colors. So just simple, simple backgrounds again. There you go, bringing in some mango tango. We've got that lovely lilac. How about something monochromatic? So why not take some black and white uh, mango tango? And there's a lovely green in there. We've got that purple or lilac. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. But the great thing, the fun thing about this is you can create it how you want, when you want. You can even taking take take here. Let's let's take this little area here, spritz it with some water. And then I can move that around and we can actually smooch directly off the card as well. So we're getting another texture going on there. I'm getting it all over my hands. You're starting to realize why I'm wearing my Sizzix pinny. Oh, absolutely. Is it a pinny? An apron? Very, very important. So I'm either wearing a pinny, I'm either getting messy or I'm in the kitchen. My, my kitchen pinny actually is has a picture of Hilda, Hilda Hogden on it. I don't, I'm not sure if you remember Hilda No, Hogden. I don't. I'm she sorry. Is, she's a character from Coronation Street. I'm sure many of your viewers do remember her actually. And it says a woman's work is never done. So that's when I'm in the kitchen. Oh, lovely. So there we go. Are you a Let's good, just wipe. Are you a good cook? I'm a cook. Do you enjoy uh, whether cooking? I'm a good cook or not is subjective. I do enjoy it. Okay. I, I am the cook in the household. Uh, my wife just sits back with a glass of wine and lets oh. me get on with it. So, which is the way oh, I the like perfect it, to be husband. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I'd say I'm not so. Sure about that. You'd, you'd have to ask her, really. But um, opinion is very. <laughs> well, I'm just drying this off now, and we're using my heat source, my scissors heat source, which is a dual speed heat source. So it's great if you've got delicate watercolors, or if you want to use the embossing powders, or if you want to, you know, just dry something heavy like this off. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool. So we'll get that, and we'll put it to one side. Because what I want to do, these are going to be card fronts, and I'm going to be using those lovely dies. And here are the dies in question from my bold text number two and you can probably tell from the name that there is a bold text number one which yes, came I was along in chapter one going to ask you does that coordinate well with the first set very much so yeah in, in terms of size and Brilliant. everything the next one i believe number three is going to be a festive set Ooh, if yes. i'm not much mistaken we're getting to so, that time of year again soon oh don't oh <laughs> um 
There you go. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this background. And what I'm going to do? Let's let's find one. Okay. Lucky is a state of mind, and I'm going to place it onto the card front leather. I'm just going to put it at a slight angle. Now today, if we pan across, you'll see I am using not just the switch machine, but the Tim Holtz switch machine. And here we have the button. That's on. It's ready to go. Love There's it. integral storage as well for all your tools and everything. And it's got a lovely soft opening. So when I do that, ah, brilliant, wow. unbelievable, gorgeous, gorgeous. And of course, Bill Sizzix machine, all the instructions are on your platform. So, so there's handy. never any confusion as to how you need to make your sandwiches and layers. Now, I'll just place that down there take one of my plates incidentally this is a nine inch machine of course it's a or an a4 machine mm -hmm. um but if you prefer say say you love your original sizzix you love the size of it nil desperandum because you can actually use your sizzix platform from your big shot in the larger machine fantastic now, i just feed it in the machine draws it through it's so quiet it's really really quiet it is and it's so relaxing now the switch here it is if I want to go back the other way, say I, I would need to do a double cut or send 3D embossing, mm -hmm. you just press that switch and out it comes. Otherwise, it just comes out. There's a little door in the back which opens up, and there it is. So lovely, easy. We've cut that out. Now I can use I can use the letters from this. Um, you know, don't throw them away. Use them on a separate card. Uh, there we are. We'll just pop that out. I love that background. Tweezers. It's not, it, yeah, it's a nice one. I, I like this one. I like this one. Happy accidents. That's what it's all about, Luke. I know you love your mixed media, and I know you yes. love experimenting. Absolutely. And this is the kind of thing that you that that you can have so much fun with. You can just cut a stack of cards, get your brayer out, get your get your palette knife, do some smooching. You know, it just it goes on and on. And 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 the more you do it, the more the easier it is to control a random technique and that sounds counterintuitive but but it's nice to have that level of control and there we are lucky Simple. is a state of mind we could go on and on we could create more and more and more let's take the one that we did earlier i think that's that's no it's still a bit tacky so i'm going to leave that for a second but what i will do Lou, is i will bring in some other examples uh Perfect. using the same Using the same oh, collection so that you make me smile. Just then so got make quick and easy. Card. Isn't it? Though? Can you imagine having a ton of these and making all these cards? And you can do it in no time at all. That is the beauty of it. You really can. So, oh, let's take some more examples using the same set. Now, how about just just white? Oh, it's straight just into your card base. That's right, straight into the card base, so you don't have to go on a background. You can go straight into the card base. And, of course, because of that, they make the great sh great shaker cards as well. Cool. Really, really cool. Then we've got another one here. That's the same kind of, oops, excuse me. That's the same kind of vibe, but obviously we've used some distress inks. Now, talking about positive and negative, ah. how about that? So you can use both. Now, if we want to get a bit mixed media, a bit grungy, we've got this lovely rusty oh, love that looking one there. I knew, I knew you'd like that. I knew it. I knew it. And then how about that? To the moon and back. So we've got a nice little moon on there. That is, uh, the background was created using different distress inks. And it's fun, fun, fun all the way. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful set. I do enjoy using it uh, as I've enjoyed using all of these sets. But th this one, wow, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It's so versatile. There's so many things you can do with it. Amazing. So there you go. That is Bold Text number two. And it is one of the bundle of four.